Hello and welcome back to the channel and it's been a busy day. I'm not up in the railway room because Ian the electrician is carrying out some wiring repairs so I thought today we'd take a look at a couple of sets. We haven't chosen a new set to run so I'm outside and uh, I've got my helper Dylan here. He's uh, an Irish terrier. I don't think you've seen him before. He's generally a good dog but he's quite old now, 13, and uh, he likes to help out with anything I'm doing. So he'll be sitting next to me probably as I talk to you about these really great train sets. I've got a couple to show you today. I've got an R694, that's a 1978 Hornby GWR branch passenger set. And then a little bit more Hornby Double O. I can't get away from it at the moment, it's such good fun. It's an EDG17 Hornby Double O tank good set. I've sorted out a bit of paperwork so we can look at the prices of each set when they were sold. And uh, we'll sit down outside at the table and get them out the boxes and have a quick look through. But right now I think it's time to give Dylan his treat. Look at that. Right, that's the last we'll probably see of him for a little while. He'll go and sit under a bush or something. Uh, so let's get to it. We've got one Hornby Double O set to look at and then a really nice 90, late 1970s Hornby Railways set. So let me get the camera on a tripod and we'll take a closer look. OK, well it really is nice to be outside doing this. Great to get the fresh air. So here we have the R694 GWR branch passenger set. Contains the GWR 040 tank loco. Three coaches in GWR livery. Oval of track. Uncoupler, power clip and tunnel. So some good items in there for your money. Now this set has seen quite a bit of action. The tunnel and the paperwork unfortunately no longer present. But it's, uh, let me just see if I can slide this out. Sometimes this phone really grips. So let's see, hopefully that's visible. Right, so some of the contents. Austrian System 6 type track very corroded. This has probably been used quite a bit. The top surface of plating is gone. So we've got eight curves, four half straights, so a nice oval. And then over here there's the excellent uncoupling rail, power clip and then possibly a little bit too difficult for me to reach out. Just. Uh, Let's see if I can ease these out with my fingers. We've got the marker pose. So the accessories are all here. No battery controller like uh, we saw in the Rural Rambler set. And the tunnel and the tunnel ends are missing, but never mind. Let's look at these GWR coaches. Now I really like these Hornby four-wheel coaches. You've seen quite a few different variations on my channel. These are especially nice aren't they, the GWR ones. Silver seal type wheels, they're going to need a clean. But attractive items, so three of those will look good. And here's this quite charming little loco. and Great Western, that's a, a, a lovely depiction on the side there. Running number, impressive steam dome, a um, couple of little, and they look like metal, either safety valves in there, and a copper cap. So uh, for a small little 040, it's got a little bit of detail, and uh, it's got the little can motor. You might just be able to glimpse the can motor up there, but look at the dirt on the wheels. I think this is going to require a little bit of recommissioning. That that's all part of the fun. Plastic drive gear. Overall, for a little 040, I think it's a nice looking little loco. Right, I'm going to pop that down because 
not having a huge amount of knowledge about R numbers, I got a bit confused. Now, I found a couple of catalogues. Here's the 78 catalogue. And indeed, if I just remove the price list for a second, hopefully you'll see here is the R694 GW branch passenger set and picture of a young person enjoying it there and the contents and the list of contents. So what was this in uh, 1978? What was it going to hit your wallet for? Well let's have a look. Passenger sets. So R694 Hefty, £17.75 and 75p. But uh, cheapest of all the passenger sets on offer that year. I mean, look at the Duchess of Sutherland set there. R697, uh, that would be virtually double the money and more. £37.75. So a good starter set. But what interested me while I was looking at the catalogues was when I jumped to 1979 and I'll just open this, look at that Taylor and McKenna 35 pence can't really get much of a catalogue for that these days so here is a very similar set or even the same set but it's R788 so it's received a new R number but the contents look virtually exactly the same. So will the price be exactly the same? Well, it isn't. If I can just reach this newer price list into view, we can see that the R788, as it's now known, the GWR branch passenger set, is now 1945. And look at that Duchess of Sutherland set up to 41.45. So uh, a few changes between the years in those catalogues. And as ever seems to be the way, prices going only in one direction. But I'm really quite excited about this little loco. It's it's going to be fun. I might try it on the battery controller and on a mains controller. But it'll be. I think it'll be a useful and good set to run. So that's our first choice. So I'm just going to pack this all away and then we'll take a look at the Hornby 00 tank, the goods tank set. Okay well moving on we're back with the Hornby 00 item. This is the second option to choose from for the next set running video and I did show you this briefly last week. It was the leaflet that was in the packaging of the A3 controller and in particular we're interested in this aren't we? EDG17 and you can see that is a excellent little goods train set and it's the 062 N2 type tank and there's a cattle type wagon a Royal Daylight tanker, an open wagon and a guards van. Now, let's see if I can find the price for that in about 1955, which is the price list we did see. And it looks to me EDL, tank locomotive, BR, the locomotive itself I think that's 46 shillings and then if we look at the set that's 99 shillings and sixpence. That is indeed in 1955 the cheapest set available from Hornby 00. Okay well let's look inside this set. Now I'm going to be a bit careful with this because it's quite precious. So again a lovely picture on the box, the little end to Duchess of Montrose and the Silver King and a young person there enjoying operating what looks like quite a good layout. 
So as we've seen with the last few Hornby Double items, I've got a set of instructions here. There is a bit of shadow from the sun occasionally, I apologise for that, but I don't think it'll detract. We've got that very nice purple guarantee slip and something else, an additional item in the set which uh, is interesting. Look at this. Hornby Deblo uncoupling rail. Instructions for use and there's a lovely picture at the bottom of the uncoupling rail. So I think someone's added that to the set. We'll take a look. So I think there's a few extra pieces of track. I think when the set was boxed up originally it would have come with one long straight and a half, two half straights, one that's got the roadway crossing, presumably to try and interest you in buying a level crossing. So the original amount of track in this box would have been eight curves and they're the not the large radius curves like we've seen recently, the smaller ones. One double length straight and these two items. So here's the additional item that someone's got at some point and put in the set and it's in lovely condition. Just a little spring-loaded lever on here. That's fully down and then when I turn the lever you can see the section raise up to uncouple the wagon so adding this into the train set would have given a lot more play value because you can uncouple the wagons and rotate them around the loco. Now also there's some other nice little pieces in the set. This has been mostly used, lubricating oil. I did unscrew this and if I give it a gentle squeeze there's definitely a little bit of movement in there, some sort of liquid but I'm not going to get it out but it's a nice, we saw this in one of the other Hornby Double items, it's a nice little accessory and it would have come with the set when it was new. So lubricating oil and Meccano Limited. Now when I was looking through the box I also found these and these are great. These are little insulating tabs. Now if I can hold this so you can read it. Um, printed in England on the bottom it says. Insulating tab, Hormi Double Meccano Limited and this is something that you would introduce between the tabs of the centre rail to create an isolated section. And uh, it's nice to find three of those in the box. Just lovely little items. No need to look at the track really, we've seen that before. Um, I'll just, on this straight, just show you quickly, but uh, as ever I think uh, if the camera will focus, it, it says Hornby Double O and then Made in England by Meccano. And we've got that tin plate, tin plate, sorry, representation of the ballast and the sleepers. It looks really good. These have seen a little bit of use, but they're certainly, the fish plates are nice. Larger tabs on this set of track, but only on the straights. The curves have got the smaller tabs. Well, in fact, this straight here, now I look at it, has got the smaller tab, so a mixture. So I think we'll go through the rolling stock first. So this is a particular delight to look at. Just see if I can catch the sunshine in that royal daylight. Rather similar to the windows on the coach we saw in the last video, SO Royal Daylight Paraffin. And let me tell you, burning paraffin in a lamp. Great smells. Paraffin was used in not only lamps but heaters amongst other things back in the day. But look at that, what a beautiful item. The metal wheels, they need a clean. Couplings, my favourite type of Hornby Double O coupling. I'm not too keen on the later Delron, the plastic type ones, but these metal ones are just beautiful. And these hardly look like they've been used. So that's the tank wagon. Here's 
here's the guards van, another bit of superb tin plate printing, this great technique that Hornby 00 had, couplings intact and the metal wheels, look at all the tabs under there, the scratch marks, whether they're from the factory, I can't think that it's ever been taken apart, it looks really crisp, a scratch or two on the roof unfortunately, but not bad considering its age, but it's just all folded together. What a superb item. Just going to come back to that open wagon. It just seems to be stuck in the packaging and I want to be careful of the box. So look at this. This, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's a cattle wagon. It's just some sort of it looks like it might be a vented box wagon of some type. It's probably just for transporting items rather than livestock. Might look into that. In fact, why don't I make sure I'm not telling you wrong by getting this leaflet out and we'll see if we can find exactly what Hornby Double O called that wagon. So let me just open this out. Exactly the same as last time I tried to do it. It's just so difficult to get the paper to open up. Oops, and there goes that price list. Certainly don't want to lose that. Right, well here's some stock. Right, well there was, there's one there. It is D1, a goods van. So the horse box above it has got a window or two. So this is probably not a livestock wagon, but just a goods van. And there it is, D1, four shillings and 11 pence. So uh, not quite 25p in new money. So that just shows you, doesn't it? Goodness me. So there is another similar wagon down here. That is a cattle truck. And um, I mistake that for the one that was in the set. Same price, but obviously ventilation and windows, so great items. So we'll just take another look at it. Roof looks pretty good on this one. And uh, yeah, not so much scratching on the tab, so I wonder if something has happened to that brake van, but really nice condition. It's going to look great running, isn't it? Okay, now let me see how I can get, if I can just get this little, it's just hooking there, yeah, just hooking on the packaging. And there, that's probably a, what's called a five plank wagon, 12 tons. And that E number might suggest it's from the Eastern region. I don't know, probably wrong. So if you know, perhaps you can tell me. Lovely heavy chassis on this. Look at that, that's absolutely beautiful too. Hornby Double O couplings, metal wheels, and yet again, lovely printing. And uh, just try and keep my fingerprints off that. Okay, let's get this little loco out. So here's the star of this set really. Check out the gloss on this lovely N2 Loco. Running number 69567, one of Hornby Double longest running models in various guises, this little tank. But this is probably the nicest one I have in my collection. I really love that Hornby made in England Meccano Limited. That decal there in gold. And just look at that, wonderful, I mean there's some imperfections in the casting and it's, I suppose you could call it rudimentary, but it's just a beautiful loco. Lovely number on the smoke box door there. I mean, what a fantastic item. Look, evidence of quite a bit of use. There's lubrication on the connecting rods that's gone a funny colour, but it hasn't had the hugest amount of running. Look, the collecting shoes, the pickups are not grooved, the wheels are not seized in the chassis, 
so I don't think this is going to be difficult to get running. Can't really see the armature in this light, it's got the Alinco motor, but on the whole that's a beautiful item and it will clean up nicely. I think I'll take a bit of time to get the excess oil and grease off those connecting rods. I've never run this item, so I think when we get around to this set I'll possibly try and capture all the recommissioning on video. But isn't that great? Well that's the two sets I've um, picked out. So we've got... Just excuse me while I reach to the side. We've got the R694 GWR branch passenger set from around 1978 to 79, so quite a nice newer item. And then this superb goods tank set from Hornby Double which would be from the early to mid 1950s. So let me know which one's your favourite, which you'd perhaps like to see running first. I mean, we'll definitely be running both of them, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. But I must say I'm particularly enjoying looking at some of these Hornby Double items at the moment. They're great fun and it's just so lovely to feel them, just the weight of them in your hand, to see the construction. They were really just superbly made and they've stood the test of time like nothing else. But saying that, I can't really complain because look at this, 1978. Certainly some age on these items now and they all look good and will run well. So I still think Hornby are making items in the late 70s and 80s that will stand the test of time. But what's interesting will be to see whether the newer items that are on the market today will have the longevity that these have certainly proved that they've got. Well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the two sets. I look forward to reading any comments that you write. And I think until the next video, and I have got a surprise for you in the next video, because of the work that's going on up in the railway room, I've had to move quite a few items near to where the electrical installation is. And I've come across something that we haven't seen on the channel before, and we'll be using it outside. That is all I can say. So I'll leave you with that thought and until the next video I'll say goodbye.